Mars moments. Can yes. we end with that? Absolutely. Okay. I conducted a little tally for our neighborhood. McDonald's, In N Out, Taco Bell, A and W, Jack of the Box, Panda Express, all I within know our neighborhood. Of any of those? Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen them occasionally. You drive past them. A lot of people use them. Fast food restaurants. How do they rank in California versus other states? Well, let's start with the worst states. This is from Thrillist.com. What is this for? The number of fast food restaurants? Uh, yes, the per number. Per capita? Ver okay. Vermont. Okay. Apparently, it's hard to find fast food there, but they also happen to rank as the healthiest state okay. pretty much every year. Probably no coincidence there. Alaska came in at number 49. But where you do find a McDonald's there, you'll also find the company's best employees, interestingly enough. Maine came in at number 48. That was the state that rolled out the McLobster back in the day. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It did not end up becoming the next Big Mac. No. <laughs> uh, the best states, number one is Texas, where everything is big. And when I lived there, it was all about going to Whataburger. So when you say <laughs> best states, meaning they have the most choices. Tons of choices. Okay, so Lots best of fast food. Worse. And California, our state, came in at number two. Woo! No surprise. Out of 50 states, tons of options. Many big names originated here. And big chains regularly test menus in Southern California before rolling it out elsewhere. The waffle taco comes to mind. Mm. Well, you Remember go where the one? people yeah. are. In Texas and California, you got more people, so I, I get it. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, there are plenty of options no matter where you go okay. in California and Texas. So what if you walked into McDonald's and standing in line in front of you was a kangaroo? It, ha it happened. Okay. <laughs> where? Maybe not. Of course, it does cause a lot of attention because you don't see a kangaroo every day, especially when out of a cage, you know. It happened in Wisconsin. The kangaroo's name is Jimmy, and Aww. a woman named Diana Moyer brought the kangaroo into the restaurant. Another customer called police. When police arrived, Moyer told them the kangaroo was a service animal. Of course oh. it is. <laughs> Naturally. She to needed the pouch. Cope with a, emotional distress, and she showed them a doctor's note. <laughs> There were no arrests or citations. Moyer voluntarily left the restaurant when she saw the other customer complain. Mm. Moyer's husband complain told that, WISN TV that... He hopped that in front of her in line. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy goes out with him on lots of errands. So that's Jimmy the kangaroo. Oh, Jimmy. All right, and I want to end with this. We've seen a lot of super flops in the NBA. I think the college players are taking notes. Weidman will try again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, who touched him? <laughs> yeah. Nobody. The wind. That was Sir Dominic Pointer from St. John's. That is terrible. And oh. even the ref is saying, what are you See trying to pull here? See you back here at 11. What are you trying to do?